In this video, you will learn about audit logs, what they are, why they are important, and how to view and find audit logs in your Google Cloud project. In addition, you will also learn about pricing and retention of different types of audit logs. Audit logs are log streams provided as part of Google Cloud logging to help you with your audit and compliance needs. These logs help you find answers to questions of who did what, where and when within your Google Cloud Platform project. Audit logs are broadly categorized as admin activity, data access, system event and policy denied audit logs. To learn more about audit log types, watch this video titled Understanding Audit Logs. Now let's look at identity and access management roles and permissions around audit logs. We can use this to minimize who has access to audit logs, which can be quite sensitive to prevent unwanted access to other resources. While deciding which logging specific permission and roles are suitable for your use case, keep in mind the following. The logs viewer role gives you read-only access to admin activity, policy denied and system event audit logs while private logs viewer role will have all the permissions that a logs viewer role has plus the ability to read data access audit logs. For more information on IAM permissions and roles that apply for audit logs, check out this documentation in the link below. Let's dive into Google Cloud Console and learn how to view the audit logs in your project. Go to Logs Explorer page. In the Query Builder pane, Set resource to the resource type for which you want to view audit logs for. We will set it as GC instance. Set log name to the audit log type that you want to view. In our example, we will set it as data access. Once you click the apply button, logs related to your filters will start showing. There you go. You can see the data access audit logs for GC VM instances. If I expand one log entry to go to proto payload dot authentication info, then it will tell us who called this method. Similarly, the timestamp field will tell us when this operation was performed. We can also view audit logs by writing logging queries in Logs Explorer, which we'll see with the help of an example. Let's imagine a scenario in which these audit logs would be useful. Enforcing SSL can be part of a greater networking security strategy. So it's important to know if and when a SSL policy is modified and who is doing it. Let's look at a sample log query that finds who and when the SSL policy for load balancers were modified in our project. For audit logs, the log ID will always start with cloudaudit.googleapis.com followed by the audit log type of the operation. Since we want to track the modification of SSL policy, Set the log ID to cloudaudit.googleapis.com activity to search an admin activity audit logs. Next, set the resource type as GC target HTTPS proxy to tag the actions for SSL policy. Finally, the proto payload.method name will point to the API call which is v1.compute.target HTTPS proxies.set SSL policy for this example. When this query is executed in Google Cloud Console, Make sure to select the time frame for which you want to view the logs. Yay, you can now see the activity logs for SSL policy modification. To view more sample logging queries, refer to this document. Now let's look at the pricing information for audit logs. Firstly, ingested admin activity and system event audit logs are not charged for all users as they are part of the free ingestion for the required bucket and cannot be disabled. Data access and policy denied audit logs are charged based on the volume of logs data that exceeds the free monthly ingestion allotment. Wondering how long these logs will be available for? Admin activity and system event audit logs are retained for 400 days and cannot be configured. The default retention period for data access and policy denied audit logs are 30 days. These can be configured to retain anywhere between one day to 3650 days for configurable work buckets. Check out the following links for more details on audit logs, access control and pricing. Thank you for watching.